So I wanted to talk to you about preparing for an art trade fair uh, or something where you're going to exhibit your work. Now what I like to do is, um, I've still got a week to go so I've still got a bit of time, um, so, but I'm starting to assemble everything together um, to see exactly how many paintings I have, um, what I think I might need, is there enough variety, and um, so I'm going to show you what stuff I've got so far and talk about um, how to market yourself a bit better and you know promote promote yourself because that's the key at these art fairs is to promote yourself get your name out there so basically you'll want to have your name on everything your website on everything on the back of everything uh, business cards make sure you have business cards um, and as well as a large selection of different types of artworks because if you all have if you have the one same uh, style or technique then you're lessening the chance of making good sales because not everyone will like the same thing so if you have a variety then it gives the option um, for people to choose so for example let me just take you around what I've worked on here are my magnets. These are fridge, fridge magnets. Um, basically, I've just glued a big magnet on the back, and I'm going to be putting my website on the back, my name, whatever else. And I mean, there. I'm going to hang this board up when I'm there. I'm going to fill it full of rose um, magnets as well as different types of flowers. So it's going to be like a bed of roses. Um, so yeah, I've got magnets. Uh, this was an angel one that I was working on as well. haven't finished it, but that's another type. Uh, I've also got, of course, my plexi blocks. Now, I've only got two, four, what's this? Two, four, five, five left, because I've taken the other five to the gallery. So, I'm off to Ikea tomorrow to buy 40 more. And um, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next week, is making um, a variety of different blocks. Because I'm also going to take some to some other galleries as well. I've also got my artist books that I'm going to be selling. I'm not selling this one because that's my favourite and that's my first one. So that's mine. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a cold. Okay, so I've got my artist books. Now, what looks really cool is to buy these, you can buy these plastic leaf typed bags. And I'm just putting my artist books inside one each. This this bag's a little bit big, but um, I'm going to see if I can find some more at Ikea that are a bit smaller. But it makes them just look 100% more professional, um, and they look cool. So bags for your artist books. I've got all my plexiglass, of course, all um, ready to go. And how many have I got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12... 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 plexiglass things. I've got this one hanging on a hook that's a double faced, just for something different. Um, now I've got all my um, small framed artworks, and I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 of those. And um, they're all pretty much ready to go. I've got to put some um, signatures and what I do is, this is what I put on them. I make a little, an insert I can just stick in underneath the frame. It has the title, mixed media, size of the work and the price. So people can look at it and know straight away without having to ask you because a lot of people don't like to ask you for the price because, you know, maybe they think it's very expensive. Also what I have is a folder. Uh, I'm going to change the cover of this one. But if you can't afford to frame your work or, or, you know, or get frames for it, another good idea is to just basically, like I've got all these works here um, that are all finished, that I'm happy with. I'm just going to put the snow over the top of that one. That, are, that you know, I'm going to sell without the frames. 
So basically I'll just put them in the folder and fill the book up and put on the front, you know, um, 500 kroner uh, each and people can just buy them and get them framed themselves. So that keeps the price down a little bit for the customer otherwise they can and it gives them that other that added option um, now let's talk about bags um, I'm also going to have a variety of canvas works larger canvas works um, I'm still finished working on this one I'm just going to put some big eyes I'm going to have like this one but I'm going to put Mona Lisa's on it as well um, and a couple of really big big paintings not too many, only a couple, because generally a lot of people. Um, I'll take I'll take more, but I'll only put a couple up. <clears throat> now I bought a bunch of bags in bulk, <laughs> like 500 last year, and they're just plastic. Oh, sorry, paper black bags, and all the artwork. You know, you can open them up and put your artwork in. And all I've done is just put some gesso on the front and then put a stencil on there to personalise them. I think these ones are all Mona. Yeah. I've done like a bunch of Monas and a bunch of Madonnas and a bunch of Crows. Um, so that's, that's just professional to do it that way. I have also just made here um, get that camera set up a bunch of smaller ones. Now <clears throat> these ones are for basically the plexi blocks because they fit um, they fit inside so um, they're, they're a perfect fit and they're just brown paper bags as well you know Nothing fancy, but I've put um, Susan Tuck, which means thank you in Norwegian, and my signature and my website address down the bottom. And um, yeah, they just something else to wrap things up with, as well as my business cards that I'm going to be using this time. And they're a bit unusual, um, a bit different. And all they are is I've just printed out my image. Um, put it into a Word document, printed it out and then laminated it and then cut it to this shape. So it saves, saves on um, getting them professionally printed and they look they still look really good. But I have another folder, uh, just an A4 size one, with all my information. I have it my education background, exhibitions I've been in, um, competitions I've won, um, newspaper articles that have been written about me um, anything which you know galleries that you that represents you, represent you anything that um, people might find interesting and because I am starting to run courses in texture creating textures and layering and mixed media typed um, effects in the back of the folder I have um, a list and I just basically say that I do run workshops. Um, if you're interested and want to know more, name, email, telephone number. Um, and I'll let you know when I'm running another course. I'll let you know what it is. Blah, 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 blah. And last art workshop I got, I'm oh, sorry, last art fair that I got, I got 15 names for a, um, a workshop. And that's 15 people that, if I wouldn't have had that, you know, I wouldn't have got. And um, then they spread the word and tell people that they're going to a texture workshop. And it just builds from there. But that's it from me. Um, I hope it's inspired you guys to go forth and think, think about how you're going to promote yourself. And think about, you know, doing lots of different stuff. Alright guys. Uh, take care and later.